Nanjing in China. Dawn on a freezing cold November day. All over the city, people are exercising. Across China, the ritual is repeated daily. In parks and open spaces, ordinary people, alone or in groups, run through a variety of exercise moves. It's a habit that comes naturally to the Chinese, and it starts in kindergarten, continues in primary school, and reaches its remarkable climax in secondary school. In China, classrooms can be crammed with 50 or 60 pupils, and the school day may run from 8 till 5. Exercise is essential. So, as our population gets ever fatter and lazier, what can we learn from Chinese schools? It's the start of the school day for the 600 pupils at Nanjing No. 1 Kindergarten. But there are no Chelsea tractors doing the school run. Children walk to nursery or hitch a ride on a bike. And from the moment they arrive, physical exercise is an important part of their day. I believe the most important thing for kids at this age, from three to five, is to have a sound body. So that's why they should take physical exercise and have fun through physical exercises and games so they can grow up with a sound mind and a healthy body. Paul Bichel is a former PE and head teacher who now advises schools here and in China on sports teaching. He works with the British Council to establish links between British and Chinese schools. As a regular visitor to China, he believes the UK could learn a few lessons about fitness and exercise. The Chinese really believe in the fact of healthy mind, healthy body, and they practice it from almost from infancy to the grave. If you have a look throughout China, you'll see examples of it. It's just part of the culture. When you go into schools, you'll see the same philosophy being followed. Here, playtime at the start of the school day involves a carefully constructed range of activities. What I noticed was that the children were not just being allowed to play any activities they liked, but the facilities, the equipment put there for them was specifically designed to, to build um, up their skills, their basic skills. So there were activities for their kicking, for their throwing, for their running, for their jumping, for their skipping, and really well thought out activities. Chinese schools combine mixed activity time like this with the more formal teaching of PE and sport, which most countries have. But uniquely, they also have the morning exercises, which take place in every school in China. Millions of children do these drills for 15 minutes every morning. And as pupils progress from nursery to primary, their coordination and timing gets better. By the time they reach high school, it's an exercise carried out with astonishing precision, even when there are four and a half thousand students in the school. It brings all the students and the staff together into one school. It's also an opportunity for the whole school, all of the students, to uh, perform on a regular basis, on a daily basis, 
an exercise programme which not only gets them all physically working together but probably mentally uh, in tune with each other in the fact that they're in school and they're there to work and so on. Although I had the idea before I came that much of it was morning drill, in fact I saw examples of exercise which included all sorts of rhythmic exercise and it did ensure that it stretched all the joints and used all the muscles and so on and some of it was very enjoyable. The air is quite fresh in the morning and we hope the students get refreshed by the morning exercises so it's good for their academic work they're about to do as well as for their health. But the morning exercises are just one part of an extensive exercise regime. When you add in activity time and PE teaching, Chinese primary pupils do two hours exercise a day. In secondary school, it's one hour a day. Every day in the morning they have 30 minutes of morning exercises and 20 minutes interval when they play games. After lunch they take about 20 minutes walk around the garden and later they'll have 30 minutes outdoor exercises. They also have two PE classes every week. So altogether, we guarantee two hours of exercise every day. We try to make sure each student can have one hour of outdoor activities daily. Our motto for PE is, do physical exercise for an hour each day and you will find happiness in the day. The children are required to do two hours of practical activity a day from primary school through to secondary school. That goes down to one hour a day, but that compares quite markedly to our attempt to get two hours of good quality physical educational activity a week. So in terms of the amount of activity, I think we could learn from China. One simple thing makes it much easier to integrate exercise into the school day. School uniform in China tends to be a tracksuit. In the UK, um, certainly at secondary level, we would anticipate that the children get, would get changed for PE. In China, they don't. Now, that's quite interesting from the point of view of the whole of their PE time is spent on the PE, whereas our lessons are spent, first of all, in children getting changed to get ready to take part in PE, and at the end of the lesson, getting changed back into their normal clothes. Now obviously there are all sorts of issues there in terms of uh, the children not having showers and, and so on, but nevertheless in terms of the actual amount of time available uh, for taking part in, uh, for being involved